so this is the ninth question and it says derive the second equation of motion okay so we have to derive the second equation of motion and the second equation of motion is given like this s is equal to ut plus half at square graphically so before that let's understand what this meaning of second equation and all so as we had seen in the previous problem let's draw a path straight path okay so let's say this is the journey okay and uh, this is point a and the body is moving from point a to point b so at point when it was point a time was let's say t1 and at b time was let's say t2 okay and in this case let's say t1 is equal to 0 or or let it be like this general case will describe and then we'll come to this equation okay so t equals to t1 particle is at a t is equal to t2 particle is at b and at the same time if you see the initial velocity u at this point is u, at a is u, and the velocity at b is v, right? And we are assuming that there is a case of uniform acceleration, and acceleration is in this direction, right? So the particle was here at t equals to t1, particle is at here at t equals to t2 in a straight line motion. Now Second equation says s is equal to ut plus half a d square. Now, what is the meaning of s? So, in this case, you already know this distance traveled in this t2 minus t1 time is s, right? So, what are the terminologies used here? So, let me use yeah. so s is what s is distance traveled. Since in this case it's a straight line motion, so whether it is distance or displacement hardly matters. We are assuming straight line motion in one direction, so distance is equal to displacement. So we are, I am saying s is equal to distance. What is u? u is initial velocity. Initial velocity, isn't it? And what is v? v is final velocity. Final velocity, though in the second equation of motion v doesn't figure out or it doesn't appear in the second uh, uh, equation of motion, but these are anyways the five players in all equations of motion. So this is acceleration, correct? And t is time. So these are the usual notations. Now, graphically it says, you have to find out graphically. So let's understand uh, what all graphs have we anyways learned. One is position time graph or displacement time graph and another one is uh, Velocity time graph. So in this case, we will be using velocity time graph because we have an idea that velocity time graph area under the velocity time graph gives you displacement or distance traveled in case of straight line motion. So let's say this is v on the y axis, t on the x axis, and let me draw a graph. This is the graph of the you know given motion okay so let's say we are starting from t equals to t1 so here instead of uh, any other t1 let us say t1 is equal to 0 right and t2 is equal to t okay so this is t is equal to 0 and let's say this is t is equal to t okay time is t general time t so what is the where is or what is the velocity of the uh, particle at t equals to 0 and t equals to z z uh, t equals to t so velocity here is u initial velocity and velocity here will be v let's say this is my point this is v and you have to expand this curve going up okay sorry not this color let me use the same color which i used for this axis and here it is right so this is v2 okay let me use now this color v2 Okay, so this is V2, V2, V1, not V2, sorry, my bad, it is V anyways. So U and V, right? And this is the time T. So at time T, velocity is V, at time 0, velocity is U, correct? And we have to simply find out area of this triangle. So let's name this triangle. So what is this? Let us say this is O, 
A, B, and C. Or not, not to conf uh, so that you don't confused, don't get confused between these A and B. I'll use other terms. So other names. Let's say P Q R S. P Q and R. So basically, what do I know? Distance traveled. So let me use color. So distance traveled or displacement. Displacement or distance in this case, same thing. So in distance or hence I'm writing distance or displacement because straight line motion is equal to area under VT curve or VT graph. Correct. This is our previous knowledge. So let's find out this area. How do we find out this area? So basically, if you see OP or OPQR is a trapezium, right? OPQR is a trapezium. So either you can find out using the area of the trapezium. So hence, what is area of trapezium? Or you could have done this. So let's say you drop this perpendicular here and name this point as T, capital T. Okay. So hence, area is nothing but area of triangle. Let's say you don't know the area of trapezium. You can do it from that also. Let's say you don't know what is the area of uh, trapezium formula. So area of triangle RTQ plus area of area of rectangle O P T R. Is it? These are the two things. So what is the area of triangle RTQ? So we need base and height. You know that. So this gap here is how much? Clearly V minus U. Check. Right? Total is V and this one is U. Isn't it? So let me draw here. So this is V and this one is U. You can check from the figure. So hence this is V minus U. This part is V minus U. No doubt about it. What about this distance? This one or this gap? This gap is simply T. In the t-axis, if you see, this is simply t. So let me now write here. Okay, so area of triangle RTQ is half into base, which looks like t over there, and v minus u is the height, value-wise, isn't it? Plus area of this rectangle. So hence, this height is simply u. You can see. Then u into t. Right. And now this is nothing but the displacement s so s is i will write rearrange it you'll write u t plus half t times v minus u and we already know that v minus u from first equation from 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 first equation of motion we know v is equal to u plus a t right or v minus u is equal to or v minus u is equal to simply a t is it right or from here also you can see the slope a is given by if you don't want to take the first equation use let's say you don't want to use that first equation so a is given by slope of v t curve so v a is nothing but v minus u upon t slope is v minus u divided by this t correct so using this two you can right again v minus u is equal to a t so call it equation number one and call it equation number two and here let's complete the proof so from from one and two from one and two what do you see so you simply substitute v minus u okay so half t and instead of this v minus u here i can write this a t so write at okay and hence oh sorry there will be a t here yeah so hence finally what will you get you will get ut plus half a t square this is the second equation right this is how you have to find out from graph so i uh, what did we do we first of all know, uh, you know we know that the displacement is nothing but the area under the curve vt graph and then you divide it into two parts, triangle and a rectangle. You found out the area with respect to the values given in the graph. And acceleration is also known as the slope of the VT graph. So hence acceleration, you calculated V minus U. And then finally, club the two equations and you got the final result. So this is what was the objective of this question. Understood?
So this is how you should be solving this question. 